Hi guys, Kabir from your Path Hacks here. Today's video was brought to you from the future artificial intelligence, to be more specific, because many people think that's the future. When you take AI and focus it on human linguistics, you get NLP. NLP makes it possible for humans to talk to machines. And this branch of AI enables computers to understand interpret and manipulate human language. Like machine learning or deep learning, NLP is a subset of AI. So what are some use cases for um, NLP? Where could we use it? Uh, let's say you are providing some services and you'd like to get the customer sentiments from their feedback. Maybe you get uh, a lot of comments on a forum or um, on a blog, you can get the comments via email or um, on a website or on social media. And it's important for you to understand if the customers are happy or not with your services or products. A second use case could be to prioritize the customer service based on the angry ones. So try to answer the really angry ones first and the ones which seem not that bad afterwards. And the third use case for NLP could be market research. It's important to be able to maybe crawl different uh, websites or forums uh, that speak about the field that you want to launch a new product in, for example, and understand what are the people's experiences related to that field so that you can prepare your product launch better. And another possible use case for NLP could be brand monitoring. It could help you keep an eye on how your brand is perceived on social media or other specific websites by, again, understanding comments and the sentiment in those comments. Now, let's see what are the prerequisites of using NLP with UiPath. You basically need to do two things. One is to install a specific package in your path and the second one is to find a provider of NLP services that integrates with your path and create an account there. To install the package it's fairly simple go to manage packages and you need to find the cognitive activities you can just go to the official repository and search for cognitive and you'll find the your path cognitive activities. So that's what you need to install I have it already installed and the second thing you need to do is go to the Microsoft website. Uh, I've put a link in the description, basically the Azure service. This is how it should look like. And then you should go to the Try Text Analytics API. Click that. So you can basically create a free account for seven days on Microsoft Azure and test this out. In my case, the seven days are already gone. So I will need to either start the free account with Azure or recreate my account from a different, for example, email address. Let's try this with Internet Explorer. Great. Text analytics API. Get an API key. Get started. And now let's try Facebook here. All right, so <clears throat> I've logged in with my wife's account and we have the API key active and we have seven days remaining for testing. So let's go on now. Basically, we have everything we need to start this. Let's go back to our UI path screen. I have here a very simple workflow already created. I have the Microsoft text analysis activity. You can find it by typing, for example, 
cognitive in activities and we have four options we have google with text analysis and translate we have ibm watson with text analysis we have the stanford core nlp with text analysis uh, sentiments and some other activities here and we have the microsoft text analysis activity so what i've done i have dragged and dropped this activity here we have some parameters for this activity we have the key this is what we have to provide from the Azure website. So I will just copy this new key now and paste it here between, between quotation marks. Then we have the service URL. This is the service URL here. Let's see what we have here. I assume it's kind of similar. Web uh, West Central US API. Cognitive Text Analytics V20. I will try to keep this as it is. Then this is our text for which we want to determine the sentiment. So I've just put here text. I received finally my Movo micro microphone. When I tested it, there was a strange sound in the background. I returned the product and brought a Rode microphone instead. So let's see what Microsoft will think about my um, feedback here, my comment. And then we have the output parameters. And we have an error we have key phrases we will see what those are later on we have uh, the language the raw result and the sentiment now for the sentiment value we will get uh, basically the sentiment analyzer classifies text as a predominantly positive or negative and it assigns a score in the range of 0 to 1 Values close to 0.5 are neutral or indeterminate, and a score of 0.5 indicates neutrality. When a string can't be analyzed for sentiment or has no sentiment, the score is exactly 0.5. For the key phrases, they extract important phrases from the specified text as an E enumerable uh, of strings, and if the key phrases analysis type is not selected, an error is thrown. Yeah, so after the Microsoft text analysis activity, I'm just basically printing here the language just to see what uh, the activity returns in the language output parameter. I am printing here the sentiment and I am printing here the error, if any. And then for each item in the key phrases, I am printing that, that item and at the end, just the raw result to see what we have here. So let's run this. It has run successfully. We can see now in the output that the language is English, so it has identified this text as being written in English. Then the sentiment is 0.84, so it thinks that the sentiment of this text is rather positive, is positive rather than negative. Now it depends from which point of view you're looking at this text. If you are the vendor of the Movo microphone, that's not really a positive feedback. If you are the manufacturer of road microphones, that's definitely a positive feedback. And what else do we have in output? There's no error returned. And then we see here what are the key phrases. So what are the really important elements in this text? Those are Movo microphone, background, strange sound, and product. And then we have uh, just a raw result, the um, uh, list of all the elements that we've seen before. And that's it. So this is how we can run basically uh, sentiment analysis on a text and uh, just just get from there the important keywords in the text and if the text is positive or negative we can just build this aut automatic classifier and then maybe just look at the comments which are labeled as negative and try to get some information about uh, what we can do to improve our service or our products and our customer service there's some good documentation on this as well Let's open it. You can just read through, understand the concepts, and then just go through it and uh, see if uh, you get any useful information from, from this. So I encourage you to play around with this activity and see where you can use it in your real life projects. That's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Hey guys, if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you won't miss out on future content. Thanks!